If you're trying to get shredded for the summer, forget about it. That's not going to happen. Why? Because it's already July. And and if you're watching this in another month, uh, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe so you can watch my stuff whenever it comes out. Anyways, summer is almost done. Like, there's no way you're not going to get shredded. Now, if you want to get shredded for life, I can help you with that. I'm going to give you five tips that will help you and mainly help me. And that's why, you know, I look like this, right? Yeah. Anyways, number one thing is that you got to keep in mind, uh, you need to go to sleep hungry. If you are not hungry at the end of the day, that is most likely due to the fact that you ate enough food to maintain first your body weight and to possibly store some fat. Now, why hunger? Hunger is an indicator of needing energy. So your body wants energy somewhere, somehow your body will actually try to ask you, hey, same food to me, same food. I need energy. Now, you do have stored fat some way. Yes, you do. I know you do. That's why you're watching my channel. Your body will take that stored fat as energy. Right? Like I'm talking to a healthy, normal human being, no chronic diseases. This is, again, for a, a general public, right? right? Number two is that if you're going to eat, try to eat something with a protein at least 20 grams of protein why because eating protein will keep you satisfied for longer periods of time now if you're doing a, a very intense work of course you know carbs are important and again carbs are not your enemy i've heard that some more people think like carbs are bad carbs are not bad carbs are amazing aren't bad some are better for your health than others and some are damn good for you but don't demonize something that is so major and excluded from your diet keep eating your carbs but of course if you have a plate, make sure that your plate has more protein than carbs. Number three, you need to exercise at least twice a week. You might wonder why. Well, because, you know, energy in versus energy out. What's wrong with you? Why are you 100 pounds overweight right now? Oh, it's genetics. Oh, my metabolism. Oh, I have PCOS. Shut up. And by two workout days, I mean two weightlifting days. If you have two weightlifting days in your schedule, uh, you'll be golden. Add on top of that 150 minutes of cardio for the week, a sustainable amount of cardio. Because at the end of the day, if you don't have a sustainable amount of cardio, you won't be doing anything. Now, a key number that you want to look for steps if you are into metrics, anything between 10 to 12,000 steps a day. Number four. four, four. So you need to understand one thing and one thing only. So if you have people around you that are not, you know, in that mood, it's very likely that you won't be hitting your goals for life. Why? Because people are very persuasive. And if you see someone eating an Oreo cookie, you will probably eat that too. Why? Because again, you're hungry. You've been working out twice, right? So far, twice this week and doing a lot of cardio. And then you tell yourself, you know what? I deserve that cookie. You can eat the cookie. God damn it. Eat the freaking cookie. Eat it. However, the problem starts when you overeat. You eat the cookie, then the ice cream, then this, this, and that. Which, by the way, I eat ice cream like, in my cut. Whenever I'm cutting, I eat ice cream. I love it. I enjoy it. Uh, I would totally recommend it as long as it fits your macros. The idea is for you to have someone that can help you walk through this process. Someone that can remind you. Those people are usually coaches. If you have a coach near your gym, you can go ahead and do that. Number five, track your record. You want to weigh yourself at least twice um, a week. <laughs> I was going to say a month, not a month, a week. If you weigh yourself twice a week, you can have an idea of what's going on in your body. Uh, of course, this has to be a sustainable approach. If you have problems with looking at numbers, don't weigh yourself because that will drive anxiety to you and your cortisol levels will go up and you don't want none of that. It's very complicated to lose weight whenever you're stressed. So keep that in mind. That's an extra tip right here. I'm throwing it right there. Extra tip. You need to be relaxed. If you're not relaxed, your cortisol levels will go up and that will impede your progress on losing weight. According to ChatGPT, high cortisol levels due to chronic stress can increase appetite and cravings for high calorie, sugary, and fatty foods, leading to weight gain. Another thing, you don't need any supplements. Supplements are not the key to success in this process. They're supplementing what you don't have. The whey protein is a supplement for protein. Multivitamins is supplementation for the lack of vitamins that you eat throughout the day, which you should be eating all your vegetables and apples and fruits and all that. But, you know, who has time for that? We don't have a lot of time for that. That's why you go and get your multivitamins and all your protein. 
and that, at that point yes that's okay now you don't need all of that right away you can ease your way into it you can start just making sure you're eating the right amount of vegetables the right amount of fruits and the right amount of protein and then you see how the scale goes down you'll see your energy levels will go up and if you do want to get some sort of supplementation the ones that i would recommend are just multivitamins and whey protein that's it you don't need anything else for a beginner of course i'm talking to a beginner natural beginner oh oh and by the way if you do peds or anything involving performing enhancing supplements get the fuck out. we don't want you here i'm gonna black you i'll find you and i black you why because we don't need any of that bad energy you guys are not welcome in this channel that after 10 years of training you're doing something wrong and i say that with love man you're on steroids you have a huge advantage get off the steroids and show me what you look like show me what you look like as a natural oh, no 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 i'm just kidding a few, you know, Derek from More Place, More Days, I like you. And anyone that is above the age of 25 and they take performing hands and supplements, I like you all. I guess I, I don't mind you. That, that should be the, the right word. Yes, I don't mind you. Now, if you're under 25 and you do performing hands and supplements, uh, you are dumb. Also another psychological side effect. Some types of your intelligence degrade over time with steroid use. This was tested in people currently using steroids and people who used to use steroids. Yes, you are not very sharp. And, and I don't, I don't want that energy, which uh, I had an encounter the other day with someone or I had a little back and forth online on my TikTok because someone was very upset because I said something about people taking performing enhancing supplements. Uh, let me know that in the comments if you want to know more of that. I'll make a video or I don't know, just go on my TikTok and check it out. But that's all I have for today, guys. Stay natural. See ya.